Those images making us even more thankful for the weather that we're experiencing now after the heat wave. Much cooler. Yeah, and more triple digits are on the way. So mm. really get out and enjoy this walk on the mild side. Let's go to a lav shot here on a mild Monday. That is our Holiday Inn, Sacramento Downtown Arena camera, looking, of course, at the river. And you got just a little glimpse there of I-5 and the Pioneer Bridge way off in the distance. All right, now that's a beautiful picture. Let's cover it up with numbers. 84 currently in Sacramento, 82 Stockton, 89 Modesto. Away from the onshore flow influence, Marysville is still pretty toasty there with a 95. We got humidity at 29%. Dew points are up. We had some mid and upper level clouds sneak on through, and that made it a little sticky out there. Uh, winds are out of the southwest in Sacramento, gusting to 21, and the barometric pressure is falling at 29.81. So at this point, we will continue to have fair skies out there. Still may see a few high clouds, mid-level clouds try to stream on through, and that's because we have this area of low pressure down to the south. You can barely see it here, but when I bring in the future cast, you'll get an enhanced look at it because we've added the, the highs and the lows and everything. But this is spinning this way and pulling up some of that subtropical moisture. It's not firing anything here, but it is firing some showers and storms up to the north. Later on, as we get into, say, Wednesday, Thursday, because this low really isn't going to move yet, up into, say, the Sierra, we have a slight chance of maybe a thunderstorm firing up there toward the middle and end of the week. But for tomorrow, we got drizzle over toward the coast. We got some stratus toward the coast. We got the trough digging down like that. We're doing it right. I mean, it's nice and mild on the coast. We're looking upper 80s, low 90s here in the valley. And then we'll continue with that trend for the next several days before this kind of disappears and Mother Nature takes the gloves off again and we get uh, beat up with triple digits, so get ready for that. So we got upper 80s, low 90s for Tuesday, so right in the wheelhouse of where we should be for the northern San Joaquin Valley. Look for fair skies and temperatures similar to the northern San Joaquin Valley for Sacramento, mid 80s for Vacaville, Sacramento about 87, upper 80s on toward Folsom. Now on toward the east, we got downsloping winds tonight in the foothills, then highs tomorrow, kind of like in the valley, mid to upper 80s along Highway 49, and then you got lower 80s out toward Pollock Pines. Weather up in Plumas County is actually going to be looking pretty nice. You'll have some sunshine up there and daytime highs are going to be running in the mid to upper 80s for the lake. The temperatures are comfortable upper 70s, low 80s. We're also looking at some gusty winds to continue up there as well, gusting at 30 miles per hour down at the lake. So there'll be some chop on the water and then over toward the west. We'll start out with some clouds, a little patchy drizzle, then clearing skies and 74 for Monterey, upper 70s in and around the San Jose area. San Francisco will be nearly 70 degrees and look at that. It'll be blustery, but 82 there for Fairfield and the rest of the numbers up here looking at low 60s all the way up toward Fort Bragg. Seven day forecast. Nice, 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 not so nice. We're in a triple digit Saturday, Sunday and Monday, and that's an extremely hot day there on Sunday. So be prepared for that. And also, like we said, in the high country, possibly on Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a thunderstorm firing up there. And then we're watching those temperatures get into the triple digits as early as Sunday on into the foothills. We got